Okay, so you got your comics all squared away and entered into comic base. The next question most people have is, how much are all these books worth? One of the most powerful aspects of comic base is that it comes with built-in pricing on virtually every comic book ever published in the English language, and most of the comic books that are published in other languages as well. Unlike old-fashioned price guides, which attempt to guess at what a comic book should be worth, comic base's pricing is based on the actual market values, computing them weekly from over two million distinct pieces of market data showing what comic books are being listed for and at what prices they're selling. When you use your comic base subscription to download the weekly update, you'll have the option to automatically update the values in your database to match the current market prices. Each issue in comic base is both a current value and a selling price. The current value is the current market average of what that particular issue is selling for in near-mint condition. It then uses a series of grading percentages found in the setup menu's grading command to figure out what that issue would be worth in other conditions. The selling price is how much you want to sell your copy for. By default, comic base sets the selling price to the current market value, plus or minus a bit of rounding if your copy is in a grade other than near-mint. But you can set your selling price to be higher than the current market value if you like, or lower it if you want to offer somebody a deal. Sometimes, when you're in the main view of comic base, you'll notice that some lines are in blue and others are in red. The blue lines are the ones where the comic value has dropped in the past year. The red lines are the ones where the value has gone up significantly. If you have a pro or archive edition of comic base, you can also click on any issue and choose the graph tab of the display to see how the price has changed over the past four years. In all editions of comic base, you can use the Atomic Avenue tab to see how your copy of an issue compares to the copies that are available for sale on the system right now. Now to answer the big question, what's my collection worth? Well, the best way to do that quickly is to use the File menu's Comic Base Statistics command. This gives you a summary of how many books are in your collection and what their current expected market value is, as well as what they'd be worth at the current selling price. If you've been entering your costs, it'll also compute how much you'd stand to gain if you sold your collection. Down below, you can have Comic Base break down your collection statistics by everything from the publisher to the average cover price. For you statistics buffs, this can be a lot of fun. For instance, I had no idea so many of my books were British. You can get a summary report of your collection by clicking the print button. For many folks, this is the exact report that your insurance company is going to ask you for when you need to provide a basis for insuring your collection. You can also click the graph button at the right to see a pie chart showing your collection breakdown in graphic form. By default, the pie chart is shown in tasteful shades of blue, but if you prefer a more colorful version, hold down the Alt key when you click on the graph button. As one final tip, you can double click any item in any breakdown, either in the list or the graph views, to see all the comics that fall into that category. For instance, when I've broken down my collection by value range, I can double click on this slice over here and see the details on my most valuable comics. That's about it for this pricing packed edition of Comic Base Tips. If you enjoy these tips, check back with us here on Comic Base TV or click the subscribe button to be automatically notified when we post a new tip. See you next time.